Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's start with the structure of an atom. Have you ever wondered about what is the basis for everything in the universe? You are absolutely right if you said atoms. Atoms form the basic unit of all chemical elements. So what is an atom? An atom is the smallest particle of a chemical element that can exist. Atoms make up everything. But what makes up atoms? Let's see. If we observe elements like sodium, carbon and oxygen, we can see that they have very different properties that don't look or act the same. But why are they so different? Well, it comes down to what's inside their atom. Atoms are made up of even smaller subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons and neutrons are located inside the nucleus and the electrons are located in the cloud that surrounds the nucleus. Protons have a positive electrical charge, neutrons are uncharged and electrons have a negative charge. In an atom, the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. The positive charges on the protons balances the negative charges on the electrons. Hence, an atom is electrically neutral. Now that we have a good understanding of the structure of an atom, let's dwell deeper into the world of atomic number and atomic mass number which are based on the subatomic particles in the nucleus, the protons and the neutrons. So what is an atomic number? An atom of every element has fixed number of protons in its nucleus and this number is unique to every element. What do you mean by this? For example, if we look at the element hydrogen, it has one proton. The element helium has two protons. And the element lithium shows three protons. That means the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom decides which element it is. This very important number is known as the proton number or atomic number. Atomic number is the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. It is denoted by the letter Z. Now that we know what is atomic number, let's understand the concept of atomic mass number. The mass of an atom can be calculated with the help of the subatomic particles in it. But we know among all the subatomic particles, the electrons have negligible mass. That is, they are considered to be almost weightless. So what are we left with? Yes, we have both the protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus. Since a proton and a neutron have the same mass, we can consider them both together. Atomic mass number is defined as the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. It can be also called as the nucleons and denoted by the letter A. We encourage you to explore the summary created as a brain-friendly mind map which provides a quick insight into what we have learned. The following assessment is the key to gauge what we have imbibed. Kudos to you if you have managed to answer all. If not, revisiting the tutorial will help reinforce concepts. Thanks for watching. If you find the content of the video useful, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos.